Hello again guys. So this is going to be a short video. Um, I didn't do much video, actual video recording um, here. Um, so basically, when you're in Quito, there's probably about four or five different tourist attractions to visit. One is uh, the middle of the world, which pretty much everyone goes to. Um, I parked my motorbike out the front, which you're not supposed to do, and the guys, the cops were pretty good about it, but they did tell me that I shouldn't park my bike there um, <laughs> when I returned to it. Um, but I stayed there for about an hour and a half. Um, it's $3.50 to get in, it's $7.50 if you want to go through the museum. Uh, but you know, it's a big touristy attraction. I got someone to take some photos. Um, of me, and uh, they did. I, I'm a big, I'm a big hater of portrait photos, as you can see this one here. But it was just a little old lady, so I didn't, um, I didn't press her to, to put it on landscape mode. Um, uh, and and the problem was, is it's really busy, and everyone wants to stand in that spot, so you've, you've only got about 30 seconds. But if you go really, really early in the morning, on like a Tuesday, you might get a fair bit more time to do it. This was a couple of days after Christmas. So yeah, um, it's a it's a bit of a little village and shops and stuff like that. It's a big tourist type thing. It's not actually in the centre. I think it's about the centre. The centre Plymouth is about 300 yards away um, from where the actual centre is. Um, but it's got some nice little art installations here and there. As you can see from the from this first shot of the bird. Um, but it's just not my cup of tea, you know. Um, and the, the problem I had in Quito when I was there was so many roads were closed uh, for I, I don't know what reason, but they were main roads, you know. So there was so much dodging down side side roads and side tracks to get where I wanted to get to. Um, the other place that I, there's three places I visited today. One was the uh, historic center, and the other one is called El Panacillo. Um, there's a couple of uh, uh, nuns just walking around. Um, yeah, so El Panacillo is, is pretty cool, but it's, uh, so this, this is another shot with my 360 camera, which you obviously can't see 360. Uh, that is a problem with the uh, 360 camera. If you take 360 videos, or, or if you take any videos, um, you actually have to um, you, you have to make that well, everything in that video has to be 360. So you can't mix a video with a 360 video. Um, but um, and I took and all 360 photos with a normal video and get it to work, which is a bit of a pain, but. That's just the way it is. Um, the drive up to uh, El Palacino, Panacillo, where, where, I'm, where I'm coming down from now, is pretty cool. It's little cobblestone streets and stuff like that. Really good views. Um, but the, there's a big um, Virgin statue up there. It's, it's really crazy to me about the Virgin Mary is that the she was never actually, she, there's nothing in any of the documents that said she was a virgin. It just seemed to be taken up in the, in the middle of the 20th century that she was. And there was rumours and all that. And, and the fact that a lot of the, um, the uh, a lot of the folklore, and, you know, and, you know, the act of, uh, the, the sex act is a bit weird, but it's amazing how much, uh, the sex act, sorry, was sort of like thought as being disgusting with all, with all gods and uh, and how they were born. Uh, so it's a bit weird for me. But um, the uh, the there's I mean in Central and South America, Mary there's a there's more there's just as many statues of Mary as there are of uh, she's very much revered in, in these times. Considering there's hardly anything ever written about her historically. It's a bit weird, so it's been built up over years and stuff like that, you know. Um, but, you know, she's the mother of, um, of what they believe is the saviour, and so I suppose that she's very important in their, in their um, traditions. 
The thing about it, and as you can see from here, this is the sort of traffic you're just dealing with. It's really crazy and really annoying. And uh, and that's what I dealt with around Quito the whole time I was there with all these road closures. You know, you can't go on the main roads, so you've got to work out yourself where to go to, and that's what I'm trying to do here. Um, but the, El, the um, this is a shot of around Quito, but the El Panacillo, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not pronouncing it correctly. It's a huge statue, it's pretty impressive, and they light it up at night. And up the top there, there's no entry fee, um, but up the top there, there's a, um, there's some like uh, a little market. It's a pretty cool little market, but they sell, they sell uh, touristy stuff in it. And, and the thing about it is that for a motorbike rider, you every any, you can't collect stuff, you know. Um, so you basically the only thing I'm ever looking for is maybe some cool stickers for the bike or something like that. But um, they didn't have any any uh, Ecuador stickers or anything like that. They just had pins and all that junk. Um, but it's uh, and there was a little bit of food up there to buy some barbecues being cooked and stuff like that. The food in Ecuador is pretty good, especially the, the soups. Um, Colombia and Ecuador make really amazing soups. Um, you know, and a lot of barbecue, a lot of French fries, a lot of fried food. Um, and then it was there, I just went driving around the old town and then I parked the bike and spent about, oh, I probably spent about an hour walking around the old town then I had lunch. So when you're going to different places, have you know, I used to just like have a bit of soup in one place and then go and have something a little bit more filling in another. But it was just something I thought I'd better do while I'm there, but it was not something that I, um, you know, the ride was pretty nice and the views of Quito is friggin' amazing. Like the, the city is massive. Um, and uh, yeah, the views were pretty spectacular, especially up at El Palacelo and um, but the place was, this is like a few days after Christmas. There's, a, there's some of the markets there. The place is so busy with cars though, it's just insanity. And I think a lot of it, a lot of the issues had to do with, um, with, the, uh, with the road closures uh, because it, was, it, it got really, to where my hotel was, just, you know, it's probably only five, 10 miles from here, but I'm like, it's like an hour an hour and 15 minutes to get back. So I, was, I got pretty sick of that uh, pretty quickly. Um, just sitting in traffic the whole time and really only had one road that was open that, that could actually get me back to where my hotel was. So by the end of Quito, I was looking forward to getting out of there again. And you'll find that with all, there's the big statue there. You'll find that with all big cities that um, that you'll stay there a few days just to get your bearings, do whatever you need to do. Um, but you, you really want to get out because the real the real country is outside of there. Some nice views there. But anyway guys, I promised it would be a short video and it will be, and it is. And uh, we'll chat again soon. I had lunch there, it was a nice place for lunch. I was right near where I was staying. All right guys, so any questions or comments below? Thank you.